Hi everyone. In the last video uh, on SVG maps, we show you how to make an SVG map. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a dynamic SVG map. Dynamic SVG map basically uh, allows you to uh, show different images for a given map. For example, um, <coughs> If you want to uh, uh, look at the details on a lower level, uh, say uh, you have a US, US, USA map and you want to drill down into states and then uh, maybe drill down into counties and so on, uh, you can use dynamic S SVG maps to achieve that. Another example is like if you have a uh, building and you have multiple floors and you can uh, uh, look at the floor plans of each uh, floor with the dynamic SVG maps. So let's take a look at uh, an example. So we click on the SVG map button and then create new map. Uh, this data set uh, is from a um, from an example database that shows you uh, <coughs> sales figures for each stores or each units on uh, each floors in the uh, shopping mall. So here we have like a annual sales per square foot. Uh, annual sales, company name, and so on. The next thing we need is a map image. So let's pick the uh, image name Go Center One, and then we want to uh, enable floor as a parameter. As you can see, floor is a parameter, and we want to use that to bring up different images of the map. Um, one thing is we need to map, uh, pick a column and map to the area ID. So these are the uh, areas on the map and each one has an ID and we want to, and, and this is actually a unit, uh, so we want to map that uh, column, uh, the, the unit column to the area IDs. So the next thing is we want to assign colors to different value ranges or range of values of uh, certain metrics that we are interested in. So in this case, we would be interested in seeing the uh, annual sales per square foot. All right, so let's pick uh, different ranges and assign colors to it. So basically, it's like a heat map type uh, scenario. All right, so let's talk at the value ranges. So it's like about the 200 to 378 for this floor. Uh, let's go ahead and pick some ranges. Uh, actually, you want to kind of round up these numbers. So let's say uh, maybe like 240. And the next range, I uh, want to say like. Uh, Maybe like uh, 280. Let's go ahead and make this uh, 280. Let's see. That's the next threshold. And then add another range. Let's say uh, 340. Okay.
you can choose numbers from the uh, drop down list or you know here what I'm doing is basically try to get some round numbers and the next thing is we want to assign colors to these ranges so maybe low values are kind of pinkish and then next range would be all like an orange and then a yellow the highest numbers are assigned green color and then we can also enable legend so here we'll say this is less than or equal to 240 and this would be between 240 and uh, 280 and this will be between 280 and 340 and then this will be greater than 340 and we can arrange the legend to be at the bottom horizontally laid out so this is what floor one would look like and you can quickly see the uh, uh, the uh, sales per square foot at a glance you know at least get the range you know get a feel for the range so the next thing we can do is to uh, actually show make a tooltip uh, essentially want to pick a few uh, values or columns so that when we mouse over we can see those values so in this case we want to see unit unit number floor and uh, annual sales per square foot also total annual sales so now when I mouse over I see the uh, you know the the fields that I'm interested in like 140 unit 140 I have uh, 414 dollars per square foot and total sales is around 430 thousand or so so this is basically uh, how you make a dynamic SVG map let's go ahead and save this uh, Let's see, go center sales. Let's see, go ahead and save it. Save it, and now we can actually go to menu uh, page or publish files and uh, and actually show that map. So this is a map that we just made, floor one, and. Uh, uh, yeah, so this is basically uh, the uh, the floor, the the map that we made. Third floor looks like this. All right, so another feature I want to show is actually uh, drill down using uh, dynamic SVG maps. So one example that uh, we made earlier actually is something like this. Uh, let's see. Go center sales. Okay, let me pick this map. Uh, no, actually it's not, not this one. Uh, all right, so this is one I want to show. So this is uh, basically like a layout of the the uh, more <coughs> and these are different floors. So if I click on uh, first floor, I see the uh, uh, <coughs> annual sales per square foot of the first floor. So actually this one you know, uses different uh, value ranges as the one we just made, but same concept, okay? 
So again, this is using dynamic SVG maps. When I click on each floor, uh, I'm passing the the floor number to the uh, map below, and basically brings out the image for the corresponding floor. So this concludes the demo on how to make or how to utilize dynamic SVG maps. And uh, <coughs> documentation is actually available online that uh, talk about how to make dynamic SVG maps. Uh, it's actually uh, the same, using the same example that I just made. Okay, thank you for your time.